Hello everyone, I'm BU and I'm the community manager for White Thorn Games and we are publishing Calico and I am here to show you all about it today. We're going to check out some gameplay and dive into it. Calico was created by Peachy King Games, a lovely indie uh, development team. And yeah, we're going to hop in. Calico is a community sim. Um, game where you are running a cat cafe. It's a uh, super cute, low stress, really creative environment where you can just be yourself and enjoy the game any way that you wish. So let's hop on in and get started with the new game. So again, I'm me. You. Make a type. That's me. I can't believe I'm starting my new life tomorrow. Ugh, I have to pick something to wear. This is our lovely character creator, where you can make your character however you wish to match your style. Lots of different options, things to adjust. So, let's see. Got our little nose options. Did you know that the nose is the most defining feature of the face? It has a lot to do with... you can do to your face as well. I really like freckles a lot, so I usually tend to get the freckles. You can also get beard. Uh, there's a lovely mustache. I love it. Um, and all of these things, you can change the colors as well. It's super customizable. Let's do some, some stars. It is recommended that you play with a controller. It is a little easier to do so. I just, um, currently my controller isn't functioning. So I'm not able to do that right now. So if I'm a little awkward on the mouse and keyboard, that is why. I don't know how to like open this menu. Without changing. There's lots of different hairstyles to choose from. I absolutely love all the hair. So you start off really basic, uh, you'll be clicking close as you play through the quests and things. So right now we don't have too much to choose from. So what we're going to do though is we're going to change the color of it. What color would we like? So White Thorn has like brown. Let's make her look like she works so white. Um, we like brown. Yeah, there we go. Match our little cabin. I like the teal. Cute! I'm just gonna leave her just like that. I think that's good. I won't bore you guys too on the character creator. I could spend an hour in the character creator alone, so I won't do that to you today. Um, hopefully, you got a good idea of what it's like. Save and exit. Here we go. Welcome to the little island. We're gonna meet so many friends. If you're enjoying the music, uh, the music was done by Slide 2020, uh, or Slide 20XX, um, and he's done a 
wonderful job composing the music for Calico. It's just gorgeous. You're always just in kind of a nice, uplifted, whimsical like vibe. I really, really enjoy the music. <laughs> I love it. She looks like a little white thorn mascot. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Hi, Kiva. Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of the Silver Village. We are so excited to have you here. We were all so sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. Though she did send me a postcard last week, and it looks like she's really enjoying traveling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops! Of course you know all of that. All about that. Having come from another island. Anywho, all that matters is you're here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check out the place? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Oh jeez, wait! <laughs> Even more first. I need to give you your welcome gift. Here's a couple of things that will help you settle in. Hey friend, did you check out your place? I love the layout, the star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do though. It's completely empty of both people and animals and food. I actually uh, brought you some furniture to help out, but I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you would like best, so I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Cute rat or spooky? Let's do spooky furniture today. Ah! Oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. Alright. Let's go place. Let's go place some furniture. So you get to run this little cafe. As you can see, it's very empty. We have a lovely little bedroom upstairs. And we have a nice little kitchen to work in. But let's start getting it filled with furniture. So we'll go into the furniture mode and we'll open up our spooky furniture here and let's start placing some things. So you can uh, put them anywhere you want as long as it's in the cafe. And you can also take stuff upstairs as well. I'm having a little issues getting upstairs. Maybe I need to go upstairs first. Put it there. That's okay. Alright, so let's place it here. Oops! I'm not used to using a mouse and keyboard, so uh, we'll figure it out one of these days. I really like uh, the way they let you place the furniture. Some games, it feels like you can't put things exactly where you want them. Like, they'll snap into place, but sometimes they won't snap right. I, I don't know, sometimes they're, they're kind of strange, but this one really seems to work really nicely. so cute and adorable and then we've got like this spooky furniture with fangs. That's good for now. We'll leave that like that. Let's get out of furniture mode. Cool. We can have a sit. You can sit on the furniture and enjoy your cafe. But we don't have any animals in here yet so we definitely need to get some, some animals. Alright, got my furniture placed. Okay, what's next? Animals. Your aunt always has a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it is the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you look around and adopt the animals in the cafe? They are all over the island, and as long as they don't belong to anyone else, they're available for the cafe and your fuzzy, and your new fuzzy family. Right. Kitty. Oops. This island is full of animals. Just walk around and you'll find them. So they'll stay there in the cafe area and around the little fenced-in space. 
and your villagers will be able to come and meet them and hang out. And you can also set them free. Um, you are ready to add a different animal. There are caps on it. I think you can have up to 10 of the animals in the cafe. So let's tell this little one to go to the cafe for now. All right, done with that one. What's the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food, duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. You can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple of recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Sounds good. Oh, something else to know. This island is very much based on old magic. The way we do things is a little bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking, though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. What? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Let's see what's up. We got our magical floating cookbook. Cupcakes, coffee, or macaroons? Let's do a cupcake. So, oh, we shrink down to a little bitty size, and now we have to construct our food together. So this game is really cute, a little mini cooking game, and we just have to follow the instructions on the side there, and get the right ingredients in the, in the bowl to make our treat. We got a little flour, a little sugar, let's grab some of this slipper butter. Get in there. What else do we need? And one egg. It really is the size of my whole body. <laughs> All right. In you go. Magic. A little bit. Kitty cupcake! <laughs> this game is adorable. Let's go. All right. That's done. All right, all done. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. You should go around and meet them. Unfortunately, we've had some problems traveling to and from other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't seen, I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, I live down this road right here, past the town center. See you, friend up. Thank you, Kiva. All right. Now what? Now what do we do? I guess we need to go meet some, some townspeople. We'll head this way. Maybe we'll find some cute cuddly critters along the way. I really want this little outfit now. I'm gonna dye my hair too. It's <laughs> so cute. tuning in and checking out um, our little playthrough today if you're um, hanging out on our Steam page or wherever you might be, Twitch. Um, thank you for being here. If, you would, uh, if you're interested, feel free to wishlist Calico. It's also available on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, um, and more. So if it's not out on your, your favorite console yet, it is coming soon. Hello there! My name's Maya, Vice President of the Owl Club, at your service. Oh, oh, but I'm sorry, I'm the Vice President of nothing right now. There was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go into the mountains, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. I'm also going to catch some, like, if there's any grammatical errors or anything like that, little bugs. I'm going to be reporting those to the devs. If you play the game and you run into some bugs, please let us know. Our team is is um, is by and ready to work on some of those bugs. They, uh, they happen with all games launched, so you're going to run into some here and there. But if you find some, let us know. We're going to get right on top of them and get them fixed. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the president of the Owl Club and the president of my heart. Oh. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, that's what I'm saying. Oh no, what's wrong? Is that a 
about the mountain blockage? Pickle of beans? I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide at the entrance of Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! I have no idea how you can help, but if you find a way through, I promise you can be a prestigious member of our Owl Club. Nice. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could. Except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on the top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really, really high up, and I'm scared of heights. I know. That seems weird for an owl-based magic girl. But I can't actually fly. Oh. Okay. Alright, Maya. I will be back. I'm gonna go find Autumn for you. See if we can get, get their mountain path opened up. So yeah, this game is definitely low stress, soft. They wanted to create an environment that you could just be yourself in and, and take it easy and just enjoy nice, soft, sweet things. Um, and I really appreciate that about it. It's kind of like playing in a dollhouse. All right, new villagers to meet. Hi. Oh my gosh, are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is the best day ever. My name's Maribel, and I own the fashion store in town. You should come by and see my clothes. You would look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit, but you can always have more. Cute. Howdy there. Need anything? Oh gosh, you look so cute today. I'm glad you asked, because I actually do need something from you. I've been chatting with Safina over in Cutie City about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant. She knows everyone, and she always knows the latest trends in fashion, too. Anyway, she suggested that I do photo shoot wearing some of the clothes I sell for an article her friend is writing. The article is about 21 fashionable businesswomen of the 21st century. I think that was it. The point is that I need photos. Your shop has been looking so adorable that I thought it would be the perfect backdrop. You don't mind, do you? I can come really early in the morning so I won't get in any of your customers' way. Oh, sure, sounds fun. That's great. I've got some new cloud pattern dresses coming in. So as soon as they're here, I'll pop over and take the photos. Oh gosh, and what would be really great is if you could find a cloud-themed prop or two that I could use in the photos. I can cover the cost and give you something extra for your help. Okay, you're the best. This is going to blow Safina's mind. Sweet Maribel, nice to meet you. So, you have our little shop here. And lots and lots of cute little clothes are going to be in um, in this lovely little shop. We've got little overalls, tank tops, tights, rabbit tails, cat ears. There's a cat tail you can get, deer ears, all kinds of cute little things. And these will change um, over the course of the game as well. So you can always come back and check and see what they've got. Uh, the other day I was playing it and there was a rat tail. And I definitely want like a mouse and mouse ears and a mouse tail. It would be super cute. Oh, you can see up on the top shelves there on the left, like the different ears. Alright. Who are you? Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer? Or should I say, a new neighbor? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire industry spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. So this is our little general store. You can find everything from new recipes in here to cute, adorable furnitures. Um, furnitures? I don't know if you can put an S on the end of the furniture. Um, we got little cat trees, little trash cans, and beds, and all kinds of cute things. Little coffee recipe. Alright, so we'll come back later when we need something. Who else we got? We got a cool house up here. Ooh, look at this spooky house. Hey! Oh, 
always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I'm, um, I, I am work at the general store. I guess I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I've learned more magic from her than I ever did in magic school, so this job isn't the worst. Nice to meet you, Ash. If you all played the demo, you may have met Catboy Oliver. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. What's your cell, Catboy? Oh my god, the egg coffee table is adorable. Turn yourself into a cat? I wonder what kind of cat we turn into. I haven't actually used um, many of the potions yet, so I'm really excited to see what those are like. Wind up. Whatever kind of sells like lots of different different things that you won't find in the other shops. So we need to find Kawachata, and I believe she's at the top of the hill. So let's go make our way that way. I wanted to show you all about maybe an hour or so of gameplay, so I'll try to maybe see if we can get to the mountain pass. This game was backed um, um, on Kickstarter. They had a, a big Kickstarter last year, and thanks to so many lovely people, they were able to fund the game and the development to get all of these lovely creatures and uh, get the game finished. It's been it's been such a great experience. As you're wandering around, um, you will run into animals that were pets from people in the Kickstarter, which is really cool, including my dog. His name's Ollie. I won't tell you where he's located, but if you do find him, uh, tweet at me. I would love to see. I'd love to see uh, you hanging out with my dog in the game. I'm super, super excited about it. There's so many cute critters. You're gonna find something you fall in love with. You've got birds, even. Like it might be a cat cafe simulator. <laughs> You've got little cute birds, ravens. You can go fly. Uh, there's different run speeds, so I can I can walk kind of slow, or I can pick it up a little bit. Is it a run, little kitten? Let's go. So let's see if Cat Witch Autumn has what we need to open the mountain pass. The music is just so happy. I sometimes leave the game on. <laughs> Uh, but you can find the calico, I I'll leave it on in the background because I just enjoy having it while I'm doing chores and stuff. You can find the calico soundtrack, I believe you'll be able to find it on Steam, and it's also available on Bandcamp, so you can get the entire soundtrack if you can't get enough of it. Here it is, Can't Wish Autumn. If you all played the demo or seen pictures in the past, um, you can see there's been some things added, some new potions and stuff are up on the shelf. It's been so much fun watching the game develop and new things get added, and they've done such a lovely job. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to my palatial emporium of po potable, portable, horrible potions. I'm Potom. Autumn. I'm Autumn. Oh, sorry, I, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing, and I have no idea where she is. And the worry has gotten me totally behind on making potions. Ooh, lost cat. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at a clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good place to start. Alright, I guess I signed up to find your cat. I'll be back, Autumn. So we need to get to the middle of town. We could walk all the way back down the mountain, but we don't have to. We are going to take a leap of faith. Here we go. So we are on a magic island, and some of the perks of living on a magical island is no fall damage. Jump off of whatever mountain you want. This game is intentionally has no punishment, so you never feel like you're playing it wrong. 
which I really enjoy. Sometimes you just want to just relax and sit back and not have to, to worry about making a mistake or not selling enough cupcakes at the cafe to make it through the next day, you know? We're not having to worry about paying our rent, things like that. We get to go around and help all of our lovely little neighbors. Uh, we're looking for a black cat named Char. Y'all see the cat? You know, point it out. This is a pre-recorded video. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I am BU, the community manager for Whitethorn Games. <gasps> Bunny rabbit! Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel! Uh, and yeah, we just wanted to show the game off so you could check it out before you purchase. See all the cuteness and what it's about. Oh, I see Char. She's over there on top of that. It's a bunny rabbit. Look at it. There's a bunny on the head. Look at his little chunk of face. His little nose twitches. The little detail is super cute. Alright, you can stay here. I don't know. Who... What's your name? Stanford. Alright, Stanford. You enjoy your little outdoor activity area. I'll be back. But if you do have any questions while you're watching and you're watching the. Uh, Maybe on like Steam or something. Feel free to drop them in chat, and as we see them, there's going to be different people from Whitethorn and the and Peachy King Games checking in on that. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them there. But if we're not there, um, you can always find us at Whitethorn Games on Twitter. We're also um, on Instagram, same uh, tag. We also have a Discord. So if you're playing the game, maybe you run into some bugs, maybe you have some questions. Or just want to give feedback or share cute photos of your pets, you can find us at discord.gg slash whitethorngames as well. Come on in, we've got lots of fun um, titles and devs and community in there. Um, but feel free to share with us, we'd love to hear from you. Especially all the silly antics you're going to be getting into in this game. Um, wait, what did we just do? Oh, we have Char, we're taking Char back to Autumn. The island is made up of five parts. Oh, and you also have uh, your little little guide here, so you can see who you've met, learn a little bit about them, and see if they've warmed up to you. It is not a dating sim at all, so there's no romantic relationships that you will have between the characters. Um, there's our map. So you can see where everyone's hanging out, so if you need to go find somebody. Oh, there's a little quest uh, question marks as well. I know where to go, so. It's pretty cute. Um, so there's lots of different areas to open up, as you saw there. There's like a, a beach area, there's a lighthouse, um, there's a big city to go to. All kinds of spots, but those will open up as we progress through the game. So we're trying to get the mountain pass open to go up to the big snowy mountain. There's also different animals in each section as well that you will find all over the map. So as we get to the, like the wintery area, you're gonna see things like polar bears and arctic foxes and all kinds of cute critters. So it's not just cats and dogs. There's so many other little animals um, wow. around uh, the island. So I hope you have fun exploring and meeting them. All right, I found Char. Is this your char? I can't believe you found my char! So quickly! How can I ever repay you? Uh, help with the landslide? <laughs> oh, hmm. Oh, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountain since one of our biggest customers is there. Lumi up in Snowbell Hot Springs always commissions potions from me for her herbal bass. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks though. Let me think about this a bit. Hmm. I got it! Come back tomorrow, and I should have something ready for you. Alright, cool. Alright, Char, welcome home. Char's like, I'm out. I'm done. I don't want to live here. No. Oh, okay. It's a swimming cat. Char is a swimming joy. Okay. So we gotta come back tomorrow. Uh, we needed to meet a few more people. Hmm. I guess we can go. Where do I want to go? Let's just, uh, let's work on this quest. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to show you, because I want you to play and experience it for yourself. Here we go. Um, 
but yeah, we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll go ahead and sleep and and do that. There are night and day cycles as well. Maybe I'll let it get dark real quick before we go into the the cafe. So you can see the sun starting to kind of go down. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's nighttime now. So the environment changed a little bit. It's a little darker. You can stay out all night though if you want to. The uh, characters will move around and do as they do. Um, hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Need anything? We should really get the path to the mountains open up so everyone in town can visit their friends there. But you won't, uh, you won't get punished for staying out too late. Your character's not gonna pass out and wake up somewhere else. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting your task done before a certain time. I'm gonna go take a nap. You can decorate your bedroom as well. I'll show you that real quick. So you got your little uh, furniture mode. We've got, yeah, we still have some furniture. I don't have any cute furniture for upstairs, but just to kind of show up what we can do. I wonder if we can't, I wonder if they made it. So cute. I just want them for my backgrounds on my phone and stuff. I just love the art style. Kells did, she did such a wonderful job. The game was uh, two primary creators, but a whole bunch of people went into making the assets and, and bug testing and uh, just all the stuff, all the things that go into making indie games. So many people work on them. On, on them. Um, but Kells and Andrew are the two main devs um, that came up with this lovely title. And I'm sure you'll see lots of fun interviews and things from Kells as the week goes on. And you can find an you can find the original interview with her that we did for the Kickstarter. So if you'd like to see and meet uh, the game dev and kind of get in their head a little bit about why they created this, uh, definitely check out the Kickstarter video. I believe it's on YouTube and it's an interview with Kells. Alright, so why am I making food? We don't need to make food. We need to go. Let's make some food. Why not? I'm already in here. Let's get some coffee. Start our morning with a nice cup of joe. Alright, 
autumn. The cat likes the watermelon. What you got? <laughs> Greetings, traveler. Good morning. How goes the potion? <laughs> so sleepy. I stayed up all night tinkering around with this potion. You have to spend a lot of time getting a potion right before you use it. It's a shame if you don't test it enough. And let's say you turn yourself into a half cat forever. I mean, I really like being a half cat, but still. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yes, potion. Presenting the first ever Megafy Potion! Use this on any animal to make them huge! Oh, but it won't work on birds. Mixing flying and magic is tricky. How will that help the landscape? Oh. Oh. Uh, whoops. Uh, I mean, this potion is perfect. The potion make kitty big and strong. Big and strong enough to plow right through those rocks. I mean, I think that'll work. Try it out. Alright, so we're not sure. So I need to find an animal to pick a five. Oh, I know. I'm gonna go find this kitty that's up here. Actually, there's a puppy over here. Let's go find one. I only know that because I've played with him. Uh, he'll find little animals wandering around in the middle of nowhere. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe there's one over here. Maybe not. Oh, it's somewhere else. Oh, hi there! <laughs> Puppy! Hey, look how cute. Little happy dog. That's adorable. This is Boots. So we have a Bigify potion in our inventory. If I can figure out how to open it. Let's see. How do I go? Uh, tap. Alright. Are y'all ready? There you go, Boots. Assuming we'll have to deal with that a little later. So yeah, any of the non-bird creatures, you can make them large enough to ride on, which is super fun. You'll see some really fun animals later on. Um, I guess we'll go see if uh, this little dog can get us up the path to the mountain. Let's go find out. There's also walking speeds too, so if you guys wanna have a nice little chill trot. But we're in a hurry, so let's get going. Alright, here's the pass. And we get through. And away we go! Woo! Yeah, we made it! Snowy mountain. How oh, nice. Oh, so we're gonna see some different animals up here. It's a very elegant white deer. Hi, deer. Oh, I hear a crow. Is he trying to catch up with us? There he is. Uh, so we told him to follow us, so any animal in your party is gonna continue to try to, to keep up with you. I know I left you behind. I'm sorry. I know I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, you all are. Alright, getting fussed at. That's such a bird thing. I haven't actually looked. We won't ruin the surprise. Oh, let's go. 
pick up boots and tell boots to stay in our party. So we don't have a wander off and then we'll have a mount. Okay. <gasps> look! What's your name? Snow Dog. Hi, puppy! Oh, look how sweet and fluffy and his curly tail. Oh my goodness. Woo! New friends! I think we should definitely put this one in the cafe. I think I think everyone in town would want to see this dog for sure. Look how pretty this dog is. lots of TikTok videos of them lip syncing because I just get a huge kick out of it. Okay, you will be a cat hat from now on. Let's go to the top of the mountain. to Japan and got to experience the culture and check out animal cafes. We went to so many different ones. There were pig ones and different exotic animals and uh, rabbit, cats and rabbits and all kinds of stuff. So it was really fun actually getting to do research, look at Bonnie, uh, do research for the game like in Japan. We had such a good time. Are you a little onsen? Welcome, welcome! Come in from the cold! I am Lumi, and this is my onsen. The perfect place to revitalize your body and mind. You must be the one that cleared the path to our heart village. I can't thank you enough. You and your animals can use the onsen anytime you want. Free of charge. Nice. <gasps> I just... I, I... Cappy! <laughs> Look! It's a capybara! We got to, speaking of Japan, uh, in one of the cafes, they had a capybara. And you could pet him and he did tricks. So fun. They're very sweet. Very sweet little animals. So sweet. That crow. What do you want? What do you want from me? How about, how about a toy? Is this what you want? Oh no. Oi. Oh. Get it! Get it, birdie! Breakdance. Breakdance Raven. Uh, there's lots of different toys in the game that you'll be able to play with and interact so the dogs and stuff can fetch. I don't think I have any toys in my hand, though. Um, tabs in inventory, right? Okay. No, I don't have any toys yet. Just that one. Check it out! How we made it. Up here. Hi, friends. So cute. Oh, got the kid cat with it. Oh no, he's eating in my face. Oh. Oh, I think he just wanted a hug. Can I pet him while I sleep? I can pick him up. <laughs> All right, Mister. You're in my space. Can you? Can you not? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, you can ride all of the animals. Which is the best part. Oh, 
I can see so much from here. Oh, 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 don't fall off the mountain. Okay. Alright, so there's the lovely uh, island that we get to explore. There's so many people to hang out with and get to know and do quests for. You've got your lovely city over there and the lighthouse. You can see um, Autumn's lovely terrarium bottle and my little cafe all the way down there. This is probably a great spot to stop. I don't want to show too much of the game because I want it to be a surprise for you. But hopefully you kind of get an idea of, of the base of it. Basically, yeah, have a good time. Enjoy uh, the critters. Um, you'll be able to have different outfits and furniture and you'll meet so many different little animals. Like this is just some of them. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty uh, ec eclectic group of pets. But we hope you enjoy Calico. If you enjoy it, please um, remember to leave us a review. If you run into any bugs or anything, we love your feedback. Uh, we're definitely here to listen and, and get things situated and sorted out. Uh, we are, are actively going to continue to work on Calico and support the title. Um, and yeah, we're just looking forward to meeting so many of you. Hope you enjoy all the cute cuddly critters, and we'll see you next time. I'm BU, Community Manager with Whitethorn Games. This is Calico, uh, developed by Peachy Keen Games. We hope you will check it out. Find us at Whitethorn Games or um, Calico at Calico Game on Twitter, and let us know if you're streaming, playing, or, or just enjoying it. And send us pictures of your pets. I can't get enough of people's critters, and I'll be happily. I will. I will happily share pictures of mine. So we'll see you all very soon. Thank you again for tuning in. Enjoy your day.